Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with the ANET ET4X. Friends, I've got a problem with the cable management, and I've got a fix. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So if you're looking closely back there, that is the issue. I'm going to use the machine to actually move it up so that you can see better the problem that I'm having. So the bed cable, the way it is currently configured, flops around when it comes out of here and I've already seen it get caught twice on this little corner. So when you look at the back of the machine there is a ton of room in this hole so I measured it went to Tinkercad and I designed a part. Alright friends so I'm going to post this on Thingiverse but I do want you to see just how easy it is to design in Tinkercad. So this uh, can be ungrouped and you can see the separate parts. The first thing I did was cut off a flat piece on the bottom so that it can print in place. And then these are also separate pieces that can be ungrouped. This is a cone. And I love the cone because I was able to set different top and base radiuses. So that way when you push it into the printer, it's kind of like a cork. And then I just did a cylinder in a box so that the cable can run through. These are two tubes. I will ungroup them as well quickly. And I took the first tube and made it the height I want, had the rectangle that's the size of the cord, and I left these little edges so that way it holds in place. And then I also gave you a little connector back here so that if you do a zip tie to hold it in place, uh, it's got something to lock into. So then to put this all together, I hide the base. I grab this front set of three and I group them. So that's that component. And then I'm going to grab these four pieces and group them. And then I did a control nudge to get this to the right height. And then if I do show all, we can bring back that piece that makes it flat so that it's easy to print. And I'm going to group those. And then this is the part that I'm going to be posting to Thingiverse for you. And it should keep the cable from falling over like a dorsal fin of an unhappy killer whale. And then of course, when you're done designing, if you've never done this before, this is how you export to an STL. Now notice I've got a bunch of stuff in here. These were all just test files. So if I just grab the selected one, I can pick just that and export it. And then also you can use send to, and you can send it to Autodesk Fusion. You can send it to Thingiverse. That's not how I'm gonna get it there, but it's one way. And then also you can take a design and share a link so that you could work together with somebody on the same project. All right, so this is right before the final version. Uh, it works this easy. Uh, you just slide it in, and then you push this into the hole, and because of that cork shape, it gets snug enough to hold that in place so that it's not laying over and running into this and possibly getting snagged. Really simple. I actually printed it with this machine, you can see it still has the purple in place, and it's going to work like a champ. Alrighty, friends, so you can already see right there that tail is pointed up just like it should be. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.